about ministry academics business relationships and yes life in general so guys Merry Christmas and yes I would also love to wish you a prosperous 2021 in advance so guys first of all let me just apologize for staying away for too long um, I have recorded a lot of videos but I'm just not able to upload them because my phone has a bit of a problem but because the other ones are a bit long, but yeah, I'll surely get a chance to upload them. I'll surely find a way. So, guys, for the first time, as welcome to my channel. My name is Mina Shetekela. I'm an Amazing YouTuber. I vlog about ministry, academics, business relationships, and yes, life in general. And if you are coming back for the second, third, or how many times I don't know you are coming back, thank you for all this attention. Thank you for all this being. Um, there and for all is tuning on my channel so if you haven't watched my last video please go back and watch it it might be helpful to you if not to yourself to the next person or it may help you in any other situation that you may find yourself in so today so is the storm <laughs> the storm yes the storm so I was reading my Bible and I came across to the story of Jonah. The Lord has sent Jonah to go preach to the people of Nineveh, but Jonah denied. So Jonah found himself running away and he found himself in a storm. Do you understand? Jonah found himself in a storm. A storm which could have destroyed everybody, which could have destroyed himself and everything that they carried. So what I want to tell you today is that it does not really matter what you are going through but what you are going through may be caused by what you have or by the way you have acted so when Jonah was sent to the people of Nineveh by God Almighty he did not obey what the Lord has commanded him to do instead he tried to run away until he found himself in a storm and this storm did not just want to kill him but this storm wanted God wanted to make Jonah realize that he cannot run away from the calling of God. He cannot run away from God and that God needs him to do something in the people of Nineveh. So, this storm was not to destroy Jonah. So, I've learned a very good lesson here. But sometimes in the problems that we may find ourselves, I don't know what storms that you are going through. Maybe it's failure in your academics, you are not doing good. I don't know what exactly. Is it your business that is not doing well? Is it uh, your business that you feel like, no, my business was supposed to be doing well at this time, but still, say it's a very low, my academics, I'm still failing, but I'm trying to study. In everything that I do, I'm just not getting it. Listen, my child of God. It may not be. Don't look at the storm at it like that. Don't look at the storm just like that. But also realize that God can be communicating to you through the storm. God wants you to realize that whatever you are doing, you need to do it with Him involved. God needs you to realize that wherever you are going, you need to go with Him. Maybe you are failing in your academics. Is it maybe 
the reason might be because you you are you are, you are too focused on your academics you don't even worship god you don't take time to just praise and worship your maker so i want you to learn from the story of jonah that don't just look at the storm or maybe sometimes you may find yourself in the storm that storm is not to destroy you but the storm is to make you and help you realize before you start complaining know that god why am i sick why am i failing why is my business not growing ask yourself god is there something that you want me to complete god is there something that you want me to do maybe god is not even benefiting anything from your business your business makes profits but you are not even helping the poor or anything are you really doing something for god don't make a mistake to find yourself complaining instead of asking god father am i against your will and then god will lead you wherever wherever he wants you to he wants to lead you so today i was listening to something uh to a video from uh brother uh, wiseman manuel's uh channel and he was talking and um, he, he was preaching actually he was preaching about the anointing you can go search for it and he also said the anointing upon you is not for you but is for the people that are around you that you may be broken you may be in a storm but god in that very storm he's still sending people to come to you this happened to me this very time a lot of things happened to me but let me say one day i was at work and the lady texted me my child is in icu please pray for him so i told myself no i cannot pray for him now i'm, I'm really down i was a bit stressed at work you know some things just come up i was really not so i decided no i'll go pray for the boy when i get home so when i came home i forgot to pray for the boy and i texted the next day and the mother told me the boy passed on so i really really felt bad that i did not pray maybe the reason not even maybe but the reason the lady came to me is because god directed her that if i utter a prayer this boy will be healed so I'd also love to speak to the preachers of the word that whenever God instructs people to come to you, it does not matter the storm that you may be in. It does not matter how bad you are feeling that day. It does not matter what is going on in your life. What matters is that God has given you the anointing upon your life. God has given you the ability to help others. The anointing upon you is not for you, but for the people around you, for the people of God that the Lord is going to send in your way to help them so preachers or let me say children of god do not do not let your emotions take away what the lord has called you for do not let your emotions um make you not do what the lord has asked you to do okay this i'm just saying it for those ones out there that may also find themselves in the same situation as i am i'm still that person that says no i'll pray for you later a person sms me and i say i'll pray for you later and sometimes i end up forgetting or just i just end up busy sometimes so i really 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 repent and uh, the brother spoke that uh, you are going to be asked of those people you really need to do what you are asked to do so guys this was just to tell you that the storm you are in let don't start complaining but let the storm help you realize what you are going through let the storm help you realize that you need to find let the storm help you find your way wherever you have lost your way so guys if you're still watching thank you so much for being around thank you so much for watching and thank you i believe you have learned a lot so I want you to find that time, that very time on your own and repent just like I did. Ask God to forgive you if he ever asked you to do something and you did not do it. Ask God to forgive you and tell him that, Father, let your will be done upon my life. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you. But for now, shalom.